Hey everybody! In this lesson, we'll talk about the importance of a risk-based decision-making process. This will help you recognize the cultural deficiency in most organizations when it comes to making risk-based decisions. When you take a chance on something, have you ever wondered whether it was a good decision or not? How do you measure the quality of a decision in a moment of uncertainty? How does your company reward or punish decisions and outcomes? What would your company do in this scenario? Hey Bob, a high-level alarm came in on the sump tank. Should I shut down the process? Don't worry about it. This alarm is not reliable. We've been getting it every few days. So should I just acknowledge it and do nothing? Yeah, that's fine. Thanks for coming for your annual performance review, Bob. Looks like the plant is running well. Downtime is below target, and our safety record looks great. Well, you've achieved your key performance metrics. You get a bonus. How often does this happen in organizations? People are repeatedly rewarded for making poor decisions. This happens when outcomes are the sole measure of performance. Unintentionally, organizations drive people to take excessive risk. Some organizations may not clearly understand the usefulness of sound risk management principles. Let's take a look at how a company can use these to make better decisions. Let's first understand, what is a risk-based decision? A risk-based decision is about choosing the best alternative to maximize the chance of meeting business goals and minimize the risk of loss. By making a good risk-based decision, you cannot guarantee the outcome. You can make a good decision and still have a bad outcome. That's okay. This should be part of doing business, given that you have diversified the risk. It's like a good poker player losing a hand. However, a good poker player's winnings are not dependent on a single hand. If he consistently makes good risk-based decisions, chances are that he will have a positive outcome overall. In contrast, you can make a bad decision and have a good outcome as in you just got lucky. Think about someone you know who has gone out and had too much to drink, but still got home okay. Should this person be rewarded? Unfortunately, this is what happens all the time in organizations. So why is making risk-based decisions an important skill? If you were to have complete certainty of the future, risk-based decisions don't have much meaning. It's when there is uncertainty and the stakes are high that they are most valuable. In a PHA, the project team assesses the risk in operating oil and gas facilities by understanding the consequences if something goes wrong and accounting for the chances of these consequences happening. If the risk is too high to accept, actions need to be taken to reduce it. A PHA incorporates the risk-based decision framework with a participatory decision-making process. The goal is to apply the basic rule of risk-based decision-making. That is, keep the decision process as simple as possible. And no simpler. In the oil and gas industry, risk is inherited in all processes. The best performing organizations develop implement, and continuously improve a risk management system as a key component of their enterprise management system. The four principles of operational risk management, or ORM, are Accept risk when benefits outweigh the cost. Accept no unnecessary risk. Anticipate and manage risk by planning. Make risk decisions at the right level. How does applying these risk management principles help organizations? Risk is identified and treated consistently throughout the organization. It also improves stakeholder confidence and trust during design and operation. It establishes a reliable basis for decision making. Good risk management helps effectively allocate resources for risk reduction. Operational effectiveness and efficiency is improved. Finally, applying risk management principles will improve organizational learning. Now let's see what that scene in the control room might look like if the company's culture values good risk-based decisions. Hey Bob, a high-level alarm came in on the sump tank. Should I shut down the process? Let's take a look. What other safeguards are on this tank? It doesn't look like there's a high-level shutdown. 
How about you keep monitoring it and I'll send someone to check it out. With this high alarm, we should have a few hours to decide if a shutdown is necessary. All right, will do. Hey, I'm out by the sump tank and it looks like we need to call someone to truck out the liquid. I'm gonna go find out where the liquid is coming from now. Okay, I'll call someone, thanks. It is not good enough if only one person in an organization practices good risk-based decision making. To build the culture of the company, the entire company across all the different functional roles needs to develop this skill.